Nacogdoches, Texas on a Saturday night for Colonel Basketball. Even though the offense has yet to click for SFA, they have been locking up opponents as of late. They only allow 58 points per game in conference play. Against the 2-3 matchup zone, Harris will bounce it to the right block. Holyfield out of the post, back to midpoint. Kinnett looks to the left elbow. Nice pass right lane for a cutting drive and a finish by Kevon Harris. 2-0 SFA, they have possession, and Harris attacking and getting blocked by Liam Thomas. There's been a few notable names that have played before him, but Thomas having a great year. He'll find Powell for a left corner three, and he sinks it, and that is huge. Javon Powell had missed his last 12 threes, went 0 for 8 on Thursday. Colonels take a 3-2 advantage. High pick look and a turnaround jumper that's made. Lee Gilmore, 6'7", 215-pound junior from Houston. 15-footer, 4-3 SFA, and they get a strip in midcourt. Fry wasn't ready, loses it, but it's given away by Cameron. Steal Bell up to Thomas. He's hit and fouled. Two free throws for Liam Thomas. Jonathan Bell just waiting in the weeds. He has an ability to get so many sneaky steals. He had four in Thursday's loss against Northwestern State. He finds Thomas, who makes the free throw. Jay Bell had a, a really strong stretch midway through the season where it looked like he was he was going to give you about two, three steals every game. Cooled off a little bit defensively, and he's responded as of late. 16 steals the last six games, and he comes up with another one off the miss by Thomas, and he's fouled. Jonathan Bell, missed free throw by Liam Thomas, rebound SFA. They try to outlet up the floor, and Jonathan Bell, it's what he does, picking the pocket of guards who just refuse to pay attention to his whereabouts. We're tied at four, and Jonathan Bell will get a couple free throws. Colonels could not clear backcourt, and SFA's 1-2-2 pressure creating some lingering doubts for the Colonel offense. Ty Charles will take it in front of Javon Powell on the left side of the floor. Drop off left short corner. Gilmore ball fake to the rim for a layup. Leon Gilmore started his career at Creighton. And the 1-2-2 pressure harassing O'Neal. Colonels will cross half court with a second to spare. Free throw line. It goes to Fry to Ward in a reverse layup that Adam Ward cashes in on. Assist Jadante Fry, 11-7 SFA. Dallas Cameron will run the show for SFA. TJ Holyfield back in. And at midcourt, Jonathan Bell, fourth steal. No one stops him. He's up the floor and fouled. Jonathan Bell, one-man wrecking crew. Four minutes and 16 seconds into this game, and Jonathan Bell up to four steals, single-handedly keeping the Colonels in it. Nichols, plenty of turnover problems on their own end. But SFA cannot get the ball past Jay Bell. Colonels look to rep a house in the left corner. They double him quickly. Drives, clears, finds Fry. Drop off right block for a backhanded layup that falls by Liam Thomas. Awkward angle. Thomas finishes 18 to 10 SFA. Heads hard to the middle. Jump pass right corner. Connect. Slip right block. Clear on the left wing skip. Great ball movement. And now left corner fade away, and it falls. Tough shot for Ty Charles. His first field goal elevates the lead to 23-10. to 10. Quick hitters. SFA, 13-point lead. Midcourt trap for O'Neal. Tries to fight through it. He can't. Stolen by Charles. Connect all alone. Layup. Assisted by Aaron Augustin, and it's a 15-point lead for Stephen F. Austin. 25-10. And a continuation of the success that the Lumberjacks experienced against Texas A&M Corpus Christi on Thursday. It was a 36-31 game at the half. And SFA plus 28 in the second half. Let's do some number crunching right now. That is a 43-point advantage over two Southland Conference opponents in the last 29 minutes and 13 seconds for Stephen F. Austin. It's an intimidating venue to play in, surrounded by NCAA tournament banners. Win against VCU in the NCAA tournament three years ago. Victory against Bob Huggins in West Virginia last year. The one-point loss to Mike Bray in, in Notre Dame. SFA a couple seconds away from a Sweet 16 appearance last year. Great start for them this evening against Nichols. Free throw line pass to Charles. Bobbles, collects, saved in the right corner. It's Gilmore, and he gets fouled. Cameron. Wing to the right, looks back to the left arc. Now deep left corner for a connect three. He makes it. He was a 51% three-point shooter at his junior college in Florida. 28-12 SFA. 
Pirates had a huge game against AM Corpus Christi on Thursday. Colonels look deep left corner to Adam Ward. Clears out of the post. Back to midcourt, Javon Powell. Gets the sign from Richie Riley in front of the Colonel Bents. Clock at 10. Hesitation right lane. Deep post pass to Repahowski. Free throw line jump pass left corner. Bell to Repahowski. Ball fake. Doubled. Passes to Fry straight away. Clock at two. Double pump shot is up and in. Tough angle. Difficult shot. Fry sinks it. 28 to 14 SFA. Back to Kevon Harris. They'll stay up high. Trailer begging for the ball right corner. Instead it goes opposite left corner. Pass to the left elbow. Jumper that Gilmore hits and he can't miss. Season high. His career high is 18 points. He already has 12. I'll give it to Harris. Now look back to Cameron. He'll clear out. Get a screen by Gruich. Pocket is picked. Steal Bell. Breakaway Jonathan Bell layup. And he'll finish and cut the deficit to 14. Bell is 14 for 29. And 5 of 9 on threes in the previous two games. Scored 35 points against Sam Houston State and Northwestern State. Four points, four steals. Colonel's down 14 tonight. Yvonne Connett. Drops it off high post to the right block. Gruitz rushes the shot, misses it, but he gets his own putback. Offensive rebound and finish. Yvonne Gruitz, one field goal previous seven games, has two in the first half tonight. 16-point lead for SFA. Jadante Fry approaching the right half-court marker. Finds Bell, quick left wing three, barely hits the rim. Fry skies for the board on the right block. Tries to answer on a fadeaway jumper, in and out. Bell, rebound, and the putback. Tough move, Jonathan Bell. Six points, four assists. Four steals for Bell. 16-point game, and now Adam Ward takes a charge on the opposite end. O'Neal breaks to the right, cut off by two defenders. Backs away to the wing. Finds Fry at the top of the key. To Powell, open, left wing three. His second of the game drops home, and it's down to a 13-point deficit. Nice assist by Fry. 38-25 SFA. Get this thing down to nine points at halftime. Jonathan Bell contributing on a turnover. Bell flying to the left sideline, disrupting the pass, and it's last touched by Dallas Cameron. Giveaway for SFA. Bell won't get credit for his fifth steal, but he's the reason why. Nichols has possession with 2-10 to play in the first half. New life for the Colonels. Powell at midcourt against Cameron. Steps left, bounces it wing left. Backdoor lob. Adam Ward, sensational dunk. 38-27 SFA, great feed and fine, Ward, skies high on the finish, and with 1.50 to play in the half, 11-point lead for the Lumberjacks. SFA goes wing to wing, they find Cameron, left wing to the left corner, pass left elbow, Gilmore faces, goes baseline, wraparound blocked by Ward, and he tips it to himself, and a quick foul on Gilmore, second of the game, Powell has free throws. What a turnaround for Nichols State University. Would have been easy to play into SFA's favor, allow their style of play to dictate the way Nichols tried to come back in this game. Colonels have stayed patient. They've used the foul situation to their advantage, chipped away courtesy of three made free throws by Trey O'Neill. Big three by Javon Powell, and now he gets two free throws. Powell hits the first. Second free throw by Powell. He makes it. Three straight makes for Powell. Big first half. Nine points for Javon Powell. After going 0 for 12 on threes his previous two games, Colonels are within nine. Inbound Powell across midcourt at two. Finds Bell. Open left wing buzzer beater. It's short. Great look. Great design. First half ends with Jonathan Bell unable to cash in. A deep wing three for the Colonels. Elated with how they close out the first half. Nichols was down 38 to 20 with three minutes to play in the first half. 10-0 run over the final three minutes. It's an eight-point deficit. Remarkable showing for SFA in the first half, but they allow the Colonels to make some big bounce back plays in the last three minutes. And now Nichols right back in the hunt. Halftime for Nacogdoches, 38 to 30 SFA. 38 to 30 SFA, Harris, Gilmore, Connett, Holyfield, Charles, and Taylor all with two fouls. Kinnett opens with a catch on the right arc. Holyfield sets the screen. Pass left corner goes to Harris. Heads middle, tipped away, almost stolen by Bell. Saved by Harris. Pocket 15. Spins middle, loses control. Holyfield had it, then loses the ball out of bounds. Bad possession. Turmoil from the start for SFA. He'll wait and watch against this man-to-man set. Identify shooters. 
Backdoor feed to Thomas. Right block finish. Right over Holyfield. Liam Thomas with a field goal to start the second half. Colonels are on a 12-0 run, dating back to the three-and-a-half minute mark of the first half. Six-point lead for SFA. Connect outside the arc, left side of the floor. Jump stop left lane. Kick to the left corner. Open three, and it falls for Ty Charles. Drive and dish, 41-32, Stephen F. Austin. Charles, four for 20 on threes before that make. He was a career 35% three-point shooter. You knew he would get going. Rapahowski right corner, tries to shoot a three over Gilmore. It's blocked, and he tips it to himself. SFA can run. Left lane feed back to Charles in the left arc. After just hitting the three, he'll bounce it left elbow. Nice pass from Gilmore. Right corner, the top of the key. Cameron passes middle, deflected, saved. Now to Holyfield, right block. He makes the layup, draws a foul on Thomas. Gilmore deep in the left corner for SFA. The lefty skips it long to the right corner. Drive for Charles, bounce pass right block. Holyfield gets it and scores. Ward was a late arrival. Holyfield, five straight, 7-0 run for SFA. They lead it by 14. Colonels haven't scored in the last three minutes. Trailer steps to the middle, slips it to the point. Nice swing to the left wing, open three by Cameron, and he sinks his second of the game. Exceptional ball movement. Four players touch the ball in under five seconds. 51-32 to 32 SFA. Powell's at midcourt, only Colonel in double figures. Cuts back to the middle. Now to Bell, left corner. Great seal by Ward, Bell attacks, layup falls. Back to the largest lead of the game for SFA. It's an 18-point advantage. Colonels have cut it down to eight at halftime after SFA had an 18-point first half lead. Backdoor feed to Bell. Reverse layup. It somehow drops home, assisted by Powell. No room for error in Bell. Up to eight points. Inbound Repahowski right corner. Heads left by Charles. Kicks out. Powell's open. Left wing three. Third of the game. Didn't hit a three the previous two road games. 5-0 run for the Colonels. 13-point SFA lead. Game high 14 points for Javon Powell. Thomas catches at the left arc. He's about to be doubled, feels the pressure, gets it to Powell straight away. Curls middle, re-picks up by Thomas, 15-footer from the elbow, short by Powell, gets his own rebound, cuts baseline, finds Bell, won't take the three. Now he will, barely hits the rim. Fry a free-throw line rebound. New shot clock is Jadante's 15-footer is long from the free-throw line. Another offensive board for Fry. Kick to the right corner and a banked-in angle three for Bell. Assist for Fry on four offensive rebounds, 18-point deficit for Nichols. No complaints, 4-3 of the game for the Colonels. Inbound right block for a layup that Harris regrets. Blocked by Thomas, third of the game, and that'll do it. Stephen F. Austin, 80, Nichols, 60. Three-game losing streak for the Colonels after a four-game winning streak. SFA, they improved to 8-9 on the year, 3-2 in league play. Colonels fall to two and three in Southland Conference.